Morning everybody, it's Larry. I am currently sitting at the Valdosta Regional Airport in uh, Valdosta. We have a feeder van moving in right now. Um, I'm trying to get another radar, excuse me, trying to get another radar actually up and going um, with some place files on it. Uh, currently, uh, max wind speed I've received just sitting here and I've 45.7 just occurred right when the truck rocked. Um, my mom called me about 20 minutes ago. She is currently heading to a shelter, so that that gave me a big relief, sigh of relief, thank God, knowing that they're safe. I'm going to turn this around so y'all can get a good idea of exactly what I'm looking at. Let me kill these uh, wipers a little bit. Apparently I'm going to need to keep the windshield wipers on just so y'all can see what's going on outside. Picking up 35 again. truck is shaking right now. As y'all can see, there are folks out there riding around are driving around right now.
Uh, we're rocking again. Alright, for those just tuning in, I've noticed I got some viewers right now. This is Valdosta, near, uh, right here in front of the regional airport. Uh, we've been picking up some wind gusts. Uh, maximum gust so far is 45 miles an hour. We do have a feeder band that's actually pushing up, uh, extending from Lake Park all the way up to Valdosta. Um, it's doing nothing but just continuing continuing to uh, deteriorate here and of course this the hurricane made landfall uh, a couple hours ago forty six mile per hour wind goes right there To give y'all a brief little run through, it took me a minute to get my radar going right here. 
This is a Gibson Ridge Analyst. Uh, currently, I'm right here in Belvasta, right where this uh, little dot is. And of course, this is a radar scope, my normal radar. I'm right here. The speeder van's pushing in. We have the eyewalls actually down near here. So let me back out on Analyst a little bit. Uh, this is not looking real good. It looks like it might not be going directly up toward Homerville because the eye wall is right here. Homerville is over here. Valdosta radar that is actually south of Stockton's right here. This is Valdosta. So it looks like it's probably it's still moving over the general direction. Let's turn down on weather radio. Uh, you can see right where I am, right where that little question mark is, uh, We, I've already come across some damage um, just earlier over on Airport Road, tree across the roadway, and also on a utility line. It looks like it's going to be coming up directly toward Lake Park, Statenville area. The feeder bins are pushing up right now. So it's about to get a whole lot worse in the next little bit. Um, since my mom gave me a call earlier and advised me that she is heading to shelter and that, you know, alleviated a whole bunch of worrying for me, I'm probably going to hang out here in Belasta, not go all the way over to Clinch County for one. She says if she needs me, I'll be over that way. But I'm probably just going to hang out right here in Belasta. Might go over that way depends what all goes on with this but um, if you're still in south central georgia if you're hunkered down stay hunkered down uh, that's the best word of life i give anybody still got lights on here in valdosta over near the airport i'm actually sitting in the airport parking lot um, and i'm probably going to transition a little bit south down to the truck stop but um, I'm going to try to go back live again if the weather conditions continue to uh, deteriorate here. Um, so far as Clockwood County, you're going to be getting wind and rain. Uh, possibility of power outages are still there. Um, the forecast models did shift over to the right hand side last night. And this, late overnight last night. It started making that wobble over to the right hand side and it made landfall a little over hour, hour and a half ago roughly. Um, if you are in Lanier and Lowndes, back off to the east. Um, this also includes Atkins and Coffee, uh, where all of them, y'all were under a tornado watch until 3 o'clock this afternoon. That could get extended. Uh, there is a slight risk for severe storms for over this way. And over toward Cockwood County, there's a marginal risk. There's a chance for isolated spin-ups with any of these speeder bands. So if weather starts to deteriorate, and don't wait to get a warning to seek cover. If you don't feel safe, take cover. Simple as that. Um, switch this back around because winds are picking back up again. That's the anerometer readout right there. Max wind gust that we've had so far is 46.1. And that's, you know, these are coming in gust. And of course, both radar is going. Oh, 
49 mile for a wind gust just occurred. And trust me, I can feel it whenever this happens because it takes the whole truck and shakes it over to the over to the side. So the main thing to take away from the live video, for one, you should have already been hunkered down by now. Valdosta, Statenville, Lake Park, you look like you're going to be in for the blunt of it based off the current track. Even over towards Stockton, over your way, it looks like it may be, or hang on, we got a warning coming across. I doubt it's a flash flood. The National Weather well Service in Tallahassee has issued a flash flood warning for oh, southeastern okay. Brooks County in Georgia, Lowndes County in Georgia, until 1245 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 9.35 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the country. All right, Brandon, the question you just asked, what gauge is the bottom? 49.7. That's the maximum wind gust I have received ever since. I set up here. I reset it every time I put this thing in park, and that's the max wind gust. And my mom just texted me they made it to their shelter at the church there in Homerville. Uh, but 49.7 is the max wind gust I've received so far. That was just a, about a minute and a half ago. Uh, the top gauge is actually the current wind speed. So basically, all about Austin and I want to say just about all of Lowndes County. Yeah, just about. If you'll take a line from over near uh, Moody Air Force Base, back over to Madison Highway toward Wild Adventures, Florida line, back up that covers. Matter of fact, it's almost in the Lanier County that morning. But pretty well the whole Metro Valdosta area is now under a flash flood warning uh, that was just issued. And of course, uh, conditions are still deteriorating here in Valdosta. But just like I said, based off the look of it, it looks not to be going directly like it was looking at earlier and I'm glancing at radar as I'm talking it looks not to be going across in between Homerville and Fargo for my Clinch County folks um, but it looks like it's shift it's still shifted to the left or the west of that current track that was out earlier this morning so the main thing about it if you're under a hurricane warning you should already be hunkered down any warning you should be hunkered down uh, this is this is it. It's just now really starting to kick in and uh, conditions are going to deteriorate As soon as it clears out at your house, don't go out right around look look at damage and all that You can pose a danger to yourself and also to other emergency responders who are responding to down trees power lines most um, emergency services are not going to send the crews out at a time like this right now because this is one of those times when it's not dangerous to send an ambulance out in these strong winds because it ain't going to be able to control that ambulance so you know hunker down if you have an emergency call 911 they'll prioritize you and they'll get you taken care of but as soon as it clears up don't go out right around and create traffic jams you know and we said, I'm surprised to see people riding around. I 75 looked pretty eerie earlier. No traffic heading south, but traffic was heading north. So I'm going to cut loose off of here. I will try to go back live in a little while. If, uh, well, the way how it's looking, looks, it looks like it's, you know, going to get pretty hairy in a little bit. But, um, ooh. Looking at radar right here with this eye wall, it looks like it's developing a hook echo on the bottom of this storm. It looks 
it looks like it will be heading over toward Lake Park. So what I'm probably going to do is just hang out right here. I think I'm in a good safe spot right here. Um, this is going to be interesting, needless to say. I will try to go back live in a little bit as soon as the weather picks up and gets a little bit, you know, a little bit worse. Because I know y'all ain't just watching me just to hear me ramble about the weather. Y'all actually want to see this. Um, I, I'm not no re timmer or anything like that, but, you know, I'm out here in it, so why not at least report, you know, what's going on. So, y'all share, like, whatever you want to do. Um, y'all do say your prayer for everybody in the path of this. Our emergency responders also. And also the crazy idiots out here like me. Me, I'm fine, though. But y'all hear the warnings. Just like I said, if it starts to get bad, hunker down.